Hey there my dudes, I am Laddie and welcome to another video and in this video I am doing my shoulders and back workout routine. The time that I actually filmed this video was about like a little while ago so I've actually made a lot more progress on my like shoulders and back and like arm muscles since making this video but uh, like I just finished working out and the time I filmed this was actually one of the first times of my shoulder and back workout or second times of my shoulder and back workout in the lockdown but I've been working out every single day since been really helping with my mental health and everything you know just keep me sane in this lockdown and and uh, staving away boredom so I suggest you kind of go along with it as well um, just another thing after this video and after I do my abs workout day video I am going to do a sort of entire life and workout and fitness and eating habits routine video of how I'm kind of keeping fit, sane and healthy in uh, in lockdown and I hope you enjoy that as well so subscribe and like this video and stick around and I should be making more stuff like that along with a, a bunch of other cool videos that I've got planned for the channel so I hope you guys enjoy the fitness routine. I started this workout by doing internal and external rotations with a resistance band connected to a door. I understand that in my previous workouts I have only been doing no equipment body weight workouts however I just didn't think this was right for me and so I decided to buy myself a set of resistance bands they are so useful I will link them down below but I will also link workouts of the shoulder and back that don't include any resistance bands or any equipment because I understand some of you guys can't afford to or don't want to get them I've really been loving using these I start off with both sides so I do one external and one internal rotation or or one set of external internal rotations on one side and then after I feel exhausted on that side I turn around and I do the exact same on the other side also excuse my back I know it's gross I have body acne so let's just ignore it exists <laughs> Then I move the resistant bands fitting to at the top of the door and I do overhead pull downs. These ones since I've began I've changed a little bit because I've increased the level of weight or level of resistance on the bands so I usually have much more than I have at the beginning because I've progressed from this point and I really want you to push it on this one make sure you start with your hands above your head and then pull it down and tense your shoulders and back at the bottom of the pull and make sure that the weight is enough that you really feel the strain in your shoulders I do it so much so that my body's almost lifting off of the ground at the end of the pull. I want you to make sure that every single rep is done to the point of failure. So do as many reps in each set as you can, because otherwise you won't see as much progress. Next is the horizontal rear delt flies. You can attach the resistance bands fitting to a lower point in the door and basically pull your arms out horizontally backwards and make sure that you tense your back muscles and shoulder muscles when you are at the furthest part of the pull. Next is Y flies and leaving the resistance bands attached to the same point in the door you can pull the bands upwards into a Y position with your body. I mean I look kind of crazy doing this, why else would we watch my fitness vlogs other than to look at my very hilarious concentration face. <laughs> Make sure that you also keep the protein intake up during the exercise so I usually have a protein shake. 
Next, I do a pull back and raise motion. I would probably prefer to have my elbows a little bit higher than I had here, but the different muscles are affected depending how high you have your elbow. So as shown in the next one, my elbows are a tiny bit higher than I had in the original one, and this helps affect muscles lower in the back. Now we move on to an upward row. You need to make sure that when you're doing things with the resistance bands placed underneath your feet, that you have the almost exact same distance between each handle to your feet. Otherwise, there can be a different tension and resistance on each muscle, which you don't want because you don't want the effects to be alternating between muscles. You want an equal build. So what you do is you pull the resistance bands up to your, I'd say I do it just under my chin, and then I tense my muscles at the top and move it back down until almost failure. So then you can have a break and go back. Now you have the pass through stretch. This you can do as many times as you feel like. However, I usually do it about 30-ish times. Just helps stretch out the muscles in the arms and the back so that you don't injure yourself. Now there's a different version of the horizontal rear delt flies that you can do leaning over. And this I found very difficult to do, especially when it comes to maintaining your position in the hold of the delt flies. So what you can also do is you can attach it underneath the door and do the same with this. With slices, these can be really hard as during the motion from front to side, you need to make sure that you keep those resistance bands up and do this until you feel like you can't do it anymore. Keep the bands up and keep going. This one is really good at building muscle. And to finish up my shoulder and back workout, I have a seated row. So you can have an inner hand grip, so you can pull it inwards or you can pull it horizontally. I prefer to switch up the grip of my hands with each stroke because this will help interact with different muscles when you're trying to build the muscle. However, I do prefer pulling it into an inner hand grip, as you can see. I do this until I feel like I am exhausted. It's a really good way to push yourself at the end of the shoulder exercise. And I hope you have enjoyed this fitness video.
Oh. oh, my shoulder's killing me. I think I'm done. Well, that was the end of the video. Um, you can keep going with those as long as you want. Ooh. I, uh, I just think I'm done for the day. I was going to do more workouts, but I've been working out for a good, a good while now on my shoulders. So uh, tomorrow I've got to make sure that I'm not, oh my God, look at those rolls. I've got to make sure that I'm not dead for my exercises tomorrow. So I'm going to have a shower, get some food down me, uh, because it's important that you get a lot of protein and food in, otherwise none of the muscles are going to build. I've got to finish my uh, protein shake off and I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of videos you want because I don't know, the fitness series I like putting out and stuff, but um, there isn't that much interactivity with it. So um, if that's not what you guys want, just let me know. But uh, I don't know, I'm just having fun putting stuff up on my channel, whatever I feel like really recently. Um, and yeah, but you guys asked for the shoulder workout, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you for watching. My hair has officially, I mean, I'm just gonna grow it out, see how crazy I can get it during this, uh, this lockdown period. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell in the thingy down below so that you can see my future updates. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.